Right. God, I can fucking talk. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Built Not Bought Campus. As you can see at the moment, you're looking at the rust underneath the step of uh, the new bus conversion. And yes, it was quite bad that we had to replace all of the metal beneath that first step. Um, in some circumstances, there was some filler which we didn't put in one of the corners. You'll see that in a second. But as you can see, those metal cross braces were completely rotten. They have all been replaced. A whole new sheet of metal has gone underneath the step just there. And that is the scene I was talking about. So once that was completed, we took a look at the whole bus underneath and decided to completely underseal the bus and giving it a finish just like so. Right, so we've been kind of busy under the bus now. Um, this step is now complete. I need to show you. Um, you should see from all the pictures, there was loads and loads and loads of rust there. So. Um, let you show me what we've done so there you can see the front of the new step as we go underneath oh, let's get some light because it is rather dark under here don't know how much of that you actually got but fingers crossed you can see the gravity of how much better it looks now than it did before and a lot safer for sure right excuse the lighting so there's the heater box let's get some light there for you right so there's the heater box right let me try and explain this a little bit to you Right, so, I've put a reducer on this side because that pipe fits on the outside. Now that pipe goes up to the main area. So that's where the heating is gonna duct up to. So the reducer I had to put on there because the outlets on the Chinese diesel heater are a lot smaller than that of the Herbis Batcher. So I've cut the hole and I've put in the plate for the diesel heater and that pipe there will be where it takes in the clean air um, which is the air that comes out the other end for the heat right this pipe here you're probably wondering what this is now this is the this pipe here sorry is the uh, air intake pipe for the combustion so it literally feeds down through there on this rubber hose or this hose attachment that comes up and under here and that is literally the filter for that that rubber inlet there is where all the wiring goes out so yeah so the chinese diesel heater by the end of today will be in hopefully up and running because i'm going to put it on a bench test power supply um the other thing i want to point out on the herbis batcher heater now i know cj from project amber said this the fuel pump on these and the connection are exactly the same from the Chinese to the Herbis Batcher. So all I'm literally doing is gonna plug the wire from the wiring loom from the Chinese diesel heater into the fuel pump of the actual van. Hopefully that'll work because, so it was working before, so there's no reason why that shouldn't work and work with a Chinese diesel heater. Anyway, I'm gonna test it a bit later, put it on a bench test power supply, and I'm gonna show you that on video when I start to fire it up and run it and it'll either be total embarrassment and won't work or if i'm lucky like i was with the traffic that i done it'll fire up and work instantly yeah that's what i want right so yeah so it's all up in the air at the moment oh one other thing we did um all this black stuff on here 
that is, um, these were quite rusty. So we hit it with rust converter because we're gonna paint them. Right. God, I can fucking talk. Right, so there's the control and there's the wire. All right, that's plugged in. Right, so I need you to face the heater. Let me show you the bench power supply. So that's the power supply, not switched on. There's the heater, multitude wiring. The earth wire is actually earth wired to the, where I've actually attached it to the vehicle. And we have got the live connected to there. Good job that weren't switched on because I just touched that. Mind you, that is plastic. Right, so let's switch this on. Ooh. Right, when I switch it on, it powered up. Oh, that's upside down. What oh, a donut. Okay. This is a new type of display, which I've not used before. Let's just switch it on. Because we are using the original fuel pump. We're fueling the pipe already, so it should be right by the heater. So fingers crossed. Let's... Switch it on. Maybe not enough amps. I don't know. Good up work. Ooh. Hmm. Now that's something I've not ever encountered. The actual unit spoke to me, so let's try again. Good up work. Hmm. That's really 
Spooky. Let's try again. Good up work. I think that sound didn't work. Did that work? Right, so that sound is not enough power. So let's give it 13 volts or 13.2. Right, so that was saying fan failure. That's weird. Right, okay. So let's try one more time. Good up work. Fan failure. Right, I've never had a controller that talks to me. So that surprised me today. So fan failure, so I'm assuming maybe the fan's catching on something or there's something not quite right in there. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to whip the casing off the top and then maybe give it another try because it may be the casing that's fouling it. But to be honest with you, when I actually put the unit in, it seemed quite sort of loose. But I'm gonna have a look and I'll be back to you. Definitely an issue with the fan rubbing. We've solved that. I don't know if you can see that in there. We have exhaust fumes and it's working. So we're going to get stunk out in the workshop for a little bit. Um, the main thing is it's working. Right, when that's fully fired up, fully going, I'll come back to you. Right, so we now have the fans kicked in. I don't know if you can hear that, that's making some sort of funny noises. Heat coming out the heater.
I think we've got a faulty heater here. So what I need to do is get back to the manufacturer, or rather get back to the supplier of this one, because that's pouring out diesel at the exhaust, which is not good. Right, after much, much hassle with this heater, I finally got it working. Let me just show you. All right, so it's now all fully in there. The exhaust is all installed. Obviously the wiring's not wired up yet because that's got to be fed up into the bus. Um, the air intake's all sorted. Um, so yeah, doesn't seem very safe on there, but I'm now gonna put the front back on here. And um, I wanna know if anybody else is using one of these controllers they look like the standard controller you get with diesel heaters but it doesn't have the okay button on as well as the power button plus the connectors are a lot the it's usually a triangular shape with the yellow and black plug on it this is square now this thing talks to you not to understand it very well but has anybody else got one of these and got any idea on how to use it because it's not like the normal ones that look like this with the OK button on. Anyway, if you've got one of these silly things that talks to you, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got a list of instructions on how to take, change the p-value on this one, because I've tried everything with all the other controllers, but there's nothing online or on YouTube for anybody setting one of these ones up. It frightened me to death when it first spoke to me, um, which you got on video, and it was like, I just couldn't believe it. I, um, it's a new thing to me. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. See if you've got one of these. Please tell me how to set these ones up. Okay. Uh, that is literally it for this on the video. So you've seen the delivery. You've seen some of the strip out. You've seen this underseal it or you've seen the underseeling. You've seen so much stuff. The window tinting. This video should keep you going for a while until we do more to it. Anyway, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying well. Most of all, staying happy. Bye for now.